Several studies have demonstrated an association between influenza infection and acute cardiovascular events, but most previous studies were limited by inaccurate methods of diagnosing influenza, and the few studies that ascertained infection by laboratory testing were underpowered and had inconsistent findings. Canadian investigators have now carried out a self-controlled case series study with laboratory-confirmed influenza to assess its association with acute myocardial infarction. Using a linked database of respiratory virus testing from 19 laboratories and a separate database of all admissions to acute care hospitals, the authors identified 332 Ontario residents who were at least 35 years of age and had been hospitalized for acute myocardial infarction within one year of a positive influenza laboratory test. They then compared the incidence of hospitalizations for acute myocardial infarction during the risk interval, days 1 to 7 after a positive influenza test, with that during the control interval, the 52 weeks before the positive test, and the 51 weeks after the risk interval. Of 364 unique hospitalizations for acute myocardial infarction, 344 occurred during the control interval, a rate of 3.3 admissions per week, and 20 occurred during the risk period, a rate of 20 admissions per week, six times as high. In contrast, similar increases were not observed during days 8 to 14 and days 15 to 28 after an index influenza case. The increased incidence was robust to sensitivity adjustments, such as using multiple different risk and control intervals. The authors also found a smaller but significantly increased incidence of acute myocardial infarction admissions after positive tests for respiratory syncytial and other viruses, and after respiratory illnesses without an identified virus. The authors conclude that there is a significant association between respiratory infections, especially influenza, and acute myocardial infarction. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.